Hello and welcome. Now it's time for the second semi-final. Prime weather here for finals football. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting something very special here tonight. A win here is a ticket straight to the preliminary final. That's right, Hutto. No second chances now. You've got to perform. Otherwise, your season is done and dusted. Tonight's match between Geelong and the Giants. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big day for the GWS Giants. Defenders, they can stop Geelong from being dominant inside 50. They're going to big chance to win this. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. We play the game as it should be played. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. Geelong kicking to the right of screen. The fans of both sides are waiting this one. So we kick things off. The opening bounce just manufactures what he could. Taranto wins it back. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Terrific mark there. Moves it by foot. He takes the mark. Cameron going for number one. Oh, what a goal! They get around him after that effort. They draw first blood. Back with another set of bounce. Jacobs thumps it forward, takes possession. Over the top of the pack. Lloyd right on the edge of his range. Okay. Going for goal number one. Finds this and marks well. Moved on by Menegola. A good mark out of the circumstances. Chose to kick it. He wins the ball in the air. Uses it now. Ends up turning this ball over. Ablett drives the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Hopper has resources out wide. And the mark will be paid. Great tackle. Taylor tackles. Great tackle. Ball out of bounds on the wing. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. The ball spills from the tackle. Picked up under pressure. Slams it onto the boot. Nice mark under pressure. Ablett releases the ball. The ball in the hands of Delwood. A chance to reload the attack now. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Perryman. Now with a low spearing kick. Kelly grabs that one. Movement by hand. Duncan can't hold onto the tackle. Just gets it onto the boot. 
Going for goal number one. Just sneaks in from behind. Seven points the difference. Henderson to bring it back into play. Takes a nice mark. He spears the ball. Does well to keep it in play. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Umpire tosses it in. Jacobs with the hit. Getting pushed out of the way was Stewart. Fantastic chase and tackle. Lloyd being constricted in the tackle. Outstanding pressure. The ball spills to Duncan. Going for goal number one. Travelled the journey. But unable to keep it online. The Giants by eight points. Considering the options on the kick in. O'Connor with the mark. Puts it on the boot. An easy grab for Stewart. Spears the ball. Henry gets on the end of this. A spearing kick. A big contested grab. Elects to kick. Core found a way to mark that one. A low stabbing kick. Williams got under it. Decides to kick. Henry didn't mark it. At full stride, receives the handball. Looks to move it by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Goes by foot. Cameron couldn't complete the tackle. Henry on the ground. Going straight to the rooms. Doesn't look good. Couldn't complete the mark. Drives it out of the pack. Marks in a bit of space. Carpet going for number one. Managed to get a hand to that one. It's under two goals now. Davis ready to bring it back into play. Puts it on the boot. Finds a bit of room to mark. Perryman can link up through hands. Hits the post and it's a behind. It's under two goals now. Davis looking for options now. Just put it on the boot. Does well to cut off the kick. Drives it long. Just gave it away. Is in his possession. The handball hits the target. Well picked up. Moves it by foot. Cameron does well to mark. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Kick goes inside the 50. Good mark and looks to send it back. O'Connor moves it now. Takes the mark. Looks up with the kick. Finds himself in space and marks. Dalhaus was surrounded. He needed to mark it. And he did. Going for distance with the kick. Schlensog read it best. Davis rides out the tackle. He can take off after that handball. Dangerfield applies a bump. Hit the man hard. De ball found some space and marked. Searches for a teammate downfield. A chance to put one through here for the Giants. 30 metres from home. Langdon goes for home. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. That's his first. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. GWS Giants getting the fast start. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. About to resume play. Jacobs thumps it forward. Kicks hurriedly. Stewart takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Green applying physical pressure. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Jacobs going for number one. 
It somehow fits over the line, and it's a goal. He's enjoying that goal. GWS Giants by three goals. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. About to resume hostilities. Thrashes it. He gets his hands on the footy. The tackle over the shoulder. It Chips it towards half forward. Taylor charges with intent. He bangs it through. Lloyd loves that goal. That's four in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is 24. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. That's a really good team goal. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Clears the contest. Found a way to keep balance. Pushes through with power. Jacob getting in on the act. Fights the good fight. Henderson breaks the tackle. It's a long kick. The ball finds Jenkins. The distance might be just beyond him. Goes for the goals. A great goal. Gets his first. He's excited about that one. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Intercepted. Clears the congestion. Fogarty got hands to it. Cork pushes his opponent off with one hand. Just puts it out in front. Finding the loose ball was Parfit. Parfit just threw it. Perryman kicks it out of the back 50. Gets around the imaginary opponent. He might kick a goal. Summed it up. And he delivers perfectly. Celebrating hard. Geelong could kick back-to-back -back goals. They are firing at the minute. GWS Giants are getting first use from their Ruckman. Open opportunity for Litzavs. Punches the kick. Stewart gets in a good position. Elects to kick. Takes that one strongly. Kick by Dangerfield. Rowan has it. Chose to kick it. The loose ball scooped up. He takes aim. A disappointing kick. Just two goals in it. Davis to bring it in. Decides to play on. Puts boot to ball. Ablick will be upset with that. Takes a strong mark. The kick from Cameron. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Decides to kick. Himmelberg landed in his back on this occasion. Goes with the kick. Tui looking to track down the footy. Cameron can't hold on to the tackle. Menegola doesn't take the mark. Selwood gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Dangerfield looks to build some momentum with this kick. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop pass. His teammates rush over. Geelong have kicked the last three goals. Geelong behind by five. Gives the old don't argue. A strong pack mark. Cameron uses it by foot. Intercepts the ball well. Tui sends one up towards the wing. Simply outplayed his opponent. Dangerfield puts it on the boot. Great mark. Tui kicks it to the square. A race for the loose ball. Has it now. He wins possession. Jacob gains some territory. With quick hands. Opportunity for Colin Jasny. The contest no match for him. That's true, Hutto. 
20 metres from home. Wouldn't want to miss these opportunities. Jenkins looking to put through another goal. Pretty happy with that one. They're in the lead now. Back in the middle now. Swatson. Connor Jasny with a clean collect. Picks it up. O'Connor slams it onto the boot. Nobody can hold on here. Gets it away. Hands that ball to the opposition. He heads for home. Wow! How good was that? Another goal for Dangerfield. He's got two. Smiles all round. About to resume play. Jacobs won the hit out. With the ball now. The loose ball picked up. Slips the tackle. O'Connor uses it by foot. Drops the ball. His first possession. Hacking it out of there. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now. And it's great to watch. Nails the goal. He celebrates hard after that. That is six in a row for Geelong. Now they lead by 13. Jacob thumps it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. He wins possession. Handballs out into space. They can create from this. Trying to avoid everything out there. He flicks it over. Green was taken high in the tackle. Stabs at the kick. Wins the race to the ball. Rowan dug it out. Handballs. Slips the handball to Delwood. Kelly getting in on the act. He makes that kick count. Full price. Gets some reward for his efforts. GWS Giants now only trail by seven. Back with another centre bounce. Thumps it clear. Fighting hard was Green. Picked off the deck. He gains possession. Kelly delivers with a straight drop punt. A second goal in the bag. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. That's two in a row for GWS Giants. GWS Giants close the gap to one. Kelly grabbed it clean. Fuck, just gets it onto the boot. Plenty to analyse from that first quarter, Gas. Geelong came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time. Anything you can see, Gary? Geelong are on top, but are losing the... Con the siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Clean from the half volley. Taylor releases by hand. Green, a bit too casual with the tackle. Off hands from Duncan. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Goes for territory. They chase after the loose ball. The ball knocked out in the tackle. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. Lobs the handball, sells a bit of candy. Haynes sees off Duncan, gets a handball away. Ablett keeps coming. He gets his hands on the footy. Handball finds Hawkins. Hawkins will be the recipient of the free. He likes his chances from here. Unbelievable. And they put it through. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Pretty happy with that one. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Winning it was Jacobs. Sends it clear of the contest. Whitfield, the better man there. Works it across the ground. Ball gets cut off. Just releases the handball. Cork is streaming past and gets the footy. Dangerfield gets a quick kick away. Jenkins controlling the airwaves on this occasion. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Okay. Going for goal number three. Ends up turning this ball over. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside the The lead is now eight. Davis to kick it in. Ward runs after the ball. 
Gets the loose ball. Colin Jasny coming on. It'll be a ball up. Punches are clear. Stanley now heading off to the bench for a break. We'll have another ball up. Thump clear. Dug out the loose ball. Green just too high with the tackle. Duncan sets his sights on the goals. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. He takes the shot. Picks up the loose ball. Cameron coming off for a spell. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Jacob hurls it away. Whitfield did well not to fumble. He's got the football now. With the ball now. Racking up possessions now. Receives the handball and takes off. Kicks hurriedly. Gets the handball away. Hurried kick. Squeezes out a handball. That tackle just too high. Cork kicks it. A chance to gather the ball. Cleanly picked up. Marked by Taranto. Sinks the slipper into it. The ball mopped up. Rushes with the kick. Advantage. Great grab. Decides to go. Taking a nice grab. Not sure if he has the journey from here. He slams it towards goal. Takes an uncontested mark. Reed within range from here. He decides to go for home. Look at them celebrate that effort. GWS Giants reduce the margin. Jenkins with the punch. Collects the loose ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Big thump from Jenkins. The bounce made it tough. Moves the ball by foot. Marks now and can send it back. The kick from Henderson. Turned it over. Finds his man. Gives it to Menegola. Takes possession. Dangerfield with the ball. Continues to find the footy. Taranto shrugs off the tackle. He has the ball. Gets it out of congestion. A great mark taken there. Chips it towards half board. Lloyd leading the race to the loose ball. Perryman heads onto the ground. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Well, now it's a ball up. Thrashes it. Is in his possession. Taylor onto the ball. He can take off after that handball. Going for goal number one. Rushes it through, through behind. Perryman considering the options on the kicky. A strong mark in the pack from Jacobs. Uses it by foot. Henry gets on the end of this. Henry has resources out wide. He gives chase to the footy. Hacking it out of there. With a driving kick. Hopper picks up the loose ball. Dalhouse keeps it moving. Whitfield gathers it now. A chance for Cameron. He gets another possession. Thumped by Jenkins. Court goes off the ground. Snaffled up by Parsons. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Gets his hands on the ball. Lloyd throws the ball away. Henderson drives it long. A race for the loose ball. Manufactures the handball. Linking by hand. Ends up marking uncontested. Keeps it moving. Goes by hand to Langdon. Has it now. Lloyd wants to keep it moving by hand. He's put it through. He puts through his first goal. He's enjoying that goal. GWS Giants go back in the lead again. Jenkins just swats it away. Ball up in the center square. Punched away. He wins possession with the ball now. Dalhouse coming on. Ball up in the center square. 
Jenkins got a fist to it. Goes off the ground. Taken well at ground level by Colin Jasny. It looked impossible, but he made it work. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around? Parfit. The Cats goes back in front. Thumps it clear. Duncan finds possession. Fights the good fight. Parfit takes the mark. This will certainly test him from this distance. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Over the top of the pack. You can mark this one down as a goal. Colin Jasny delivers with a straight drop punt. That's his first. He loved that one. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Nine points the difference. Thrashes it. Has it now. Couldn't snaffle it. Jenkins heads towards the goals. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Smiles all round. That's three in a row for Geelong. The margin is 15. Umpire ready to resume play. Jacob thrashes it. The ball's knocked loose. Wasting a lot of effort there. A chance to reload the attack now. Henry has resources out wide. Runs out of room and will get a throw in. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Sheridan goes to the man on the run. Haynes heads onto the ground. My ball, says the umpire. Thump clear. Wall uses the bump. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Thrown in now. Jacob gains possession. Pushes through with power. Chips it towards half forward. Davis gets on the end of this. That's a really poor kick. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Got boot to ball. The ball ends up with Taylor. The Cats are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Looks to move it by foot. Picks up the loose ball. They can link up now. Poor handball. Causes a turnover. Himmelberg just gets it onto the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Reed lines up from long range. Looking to kick goal number two. Takes a simple grab. Ten metres out. He's really turning it on now. That's two down. Finding his feet in front of goals. His teammates rush over. Back in the middle to resume play. Stanley thumped it clear. Dalhouse powers through the tackle. Cameron scoops it up. Cameron gurns a free kick. Goes by foot. A clean pickup. Taranto quickly onto the boot. Williams gives away a free for in the back. He drives it. Ablett cutted him down. Great attack on the ball carrier. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. The loose ball picked up. Ball up on the outer side wing. Clears the contest. Ward controls this one. Schlensog unable to hold on. Off the deck. Henry collects the loose ball. Strong mark in the contest. Connor Jasny handballs out in front. Cor brushed off easily. Parsons missed an opportunity to mark. Can he put it through? Gives the old don't argue. Parker flicks it over. Charges with intent. Sees it out of play. 
Umpire tosses it in. Jacobs clears the contest. Contests the hard ball. Is in his possession. A lot of possessions for him. Linking by hand. Awkwardly got the handball out. Turned it over. Cork slick with the hands. Well collected. It's marked by Haynes. Wants to move it quickly. Nice hands. 35 metres out. Reed with a fairly straightforward shot. He drives it towards goal. Now they've got to sit up and find a way to stop the ball movement. GWS Giants behind by eight, searching for a teammate. Taylor hangs on to that one. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Wants to keep it moving. He blasts it through for another. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Davis celebrates with the fans. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. GWS Giants are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. They just need to convert those into scores. The ball bubbling around, slams it onto the boot. The mark is taken by Jacobs. Moves the ball along the... The first half comes to a close. And GWS Giants face a two-point deficit. It's been a promising first half for Geelong. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. GWS Giants are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help them. Fact, players back on the field to begin the second half here. And we're back in motion. Jacobs with a big fist on it. Takes possession. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Lloyd was surrounded. He needed to mark it. And he did. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Blitzarves goes with the kick. Stanley takes the mark uncontested. Drives the kick hard. It's a foot race to get this one. This is a big kick in the context of this game. A kick to hit the front. Reed couldn't keep his hands on it. Hopper wins the ball in the air. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Lining up from a 45-degree angle. He gives it a ride. Kept his head and kicked the goal. Of course, Hunter. Gets his first. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants have three in a row. They've hit the front. Put his body on the line. Gets the loose ball. Himmelberg won himself a free. Uses it now. Gathered by Canelio. Puts the handball out in front. The loose ball scooped up. An opportunity for a third goal. He acknowledges the crowd. GWS Giants lead by 10. The game is back underway. GWS Giants score in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. A great defensive effort. Keller continues to dominate this contest. He's doing everything right. Got the hands free. GWS Giants lead Geelong 76 to 65. Marks in a bit of space. The Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Reed couldn't be happier with that goal. Centre bounce. Swats it. He has the ball. Ablett puts the handball out in front. Used the hands and gives away the free. Moved on by Cornelio. Good mark there. Decides to kick. 
doing well with the mark. The Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside. Them. Geelong keeping themselves in it. Weighing up the options now. Plays on. Slams it on the boot. Dalhouse is having a stellar match. He's setting the example at the moment. Wins the race to the ball. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gaz. He's showing everyone how it's done. Sheridan with an easy mark. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Good body work to win the mark. A low stabbing kick. Gets into some space to mark this. 50 metres from home. He decides to go for home. He makes that kick count. Full cry. Sangerfield has three goals now. They get around him after that effort. We resume hostilities. Punched away. Sheridan now. Up for grabs for Green. Strong with the body and wins the mark. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Takes it well. Going for goal number one. Terrific mark there. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants lead is now 16. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. GWS Giants are leading the contested ball numbers. It's always the starting point for a coach to find how well they attack the contest. Manages to get a hand away. Tui links up with a chance to run. Cuts the kick in board. Whitfield leaps over the top. Puts it on the boot. Gets into a good position to take that. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Kick by Jenkins. Great mark under pressure. 35 metres out. Parsons going for number one. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Celebrating hard. Geelong reduced the margin. Back in the middle now. Hammers it. And now Green. Gathers it now. Shows some physicality. Schlensong rushes with the kick. He gets above the crowd. Chips it towards half forward. Dug it out. Quick handball. Hawkins goes to the man on the run. Walks that one over the line. Just under two goals, the difference now. Unsure of their next move. Takes that one strongly. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Here's Stanley. Hawkins blinks with a teammate who can run. Haynes finds his man on the move. Himmelberg kicks hurriedly. Stewart didn't mark it. It's cut off by Henderson. Taken by O'Connor. O'Connor was taken high in the tackle. They chase after the loose ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Spent that one before he earned it. The ball spills. He drives it. Gains some territory. Dangerfield is an absolute ball magnet. Ward got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Goes with the kick. Open opportunity for Canelio. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. 
Sweeping handball. De Boer takes a strong mark. 45 metres out. He takes aim. A drop punt through the goals. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Giants by 15. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Back in the middle to resume play now. Punches it clear. Ends up with Dangerfield. Nobody can hold on here. Davis looking a bit sluggish out there. Nice hands. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Jasny pulls the trigger. Drop punt straight through the middle. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. They get around him after that effort. Geelong now only trailed by nine. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Spots it. Doing well was then a goal. Releases by hand. Kicks out of the congestion. Davis has resources out wide. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Cornelio moves it now. The mark is taken by Ward. Uses it by foot. The mark has been taken. Williams puts it on the boot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Menegola searches for a teammate downfield. Fogarty elects to kick it long. Whitfield goes off the ground. Fogarty just throws it. Haynes hacks it into the pocket. Davis got under it. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Works it across the ground. Strong mark in the contest. Releases the handball. Hawkins just put it on the boot. Haynes are going out with a driving kick. Takes the mark. Himmelberg, one out in the square. Duncan looking to track down the footy. Thank you. We'll get a stoppage. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Thrashes it. Schlenso couldn't stick the tackle. Parfit has the ball. He's got the football now. He's been influential. Fantastic tackle. Lobs the handball. Hawkins enjoying that goal. Geelong close the gap to three. Stanley gets onto the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Green with quick hands. He gains possession. Green throws the ball away. Moves it by foot. The contest, no match for him. Yes, I know. Got boot to ball. Marking in space for Stewart. Caught with the intercept. He's got the footy in his hands. Schlingsock doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Green going for number one. You can't afford to be missing too many chances in front of goal. The margin is four. Henderson searching for a teammate. A chance to gather the ball. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Okay. Kelly can put through a fourth with this kick. Couldn't complete the mark. Scoops up the ball. Just manages to release the kick. It's been turned over. Stands tall and marks. He spears the ball. Does well to cut off the kick. Williams drives the kick. Good body work to win the mark. A spearing kick from Hopper. Goes off the ground. Hey. 
We'll get a ball up on the wing. It's a very tight game right now. Hammers it. Ball collected. Jenkins has a teammate on the move. Fogarty had it, lost it. Cork clears the ball from the contest. Green took his eyes off the ball. Putting on the bump was Cameron. He has the ball. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Looks up with the kick. And the mark will be paid. Selwood just handballs into space. Cork elects the kick. Gets a quick kick away. Geelong trial by four. They certainly have a lot to think about before the final term. GWS Giants believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Let's analyse the stats. Geelong have been careful with their ball movement, taking plenty of uncontested marks and looking to find targets in space. Thanks for that, Gary. Last quarter action, ready to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Stanley with the hit. Has it now. Intercepted by Ward. He flicks it over. Jacobs on the ball. Collected by Dangerfield. Brings it out of the pack. Mops up the loose ball. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Williams steals possession. Fogarty goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. Celebrating hard. They're in front. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. The ball ends up going to ground. Hopper failing to get near it, guys. He's barely touched the ball, though. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. The players will be feeling the heat right now. The handball hits the target. At full stride, receives the handball. Just put it on the boot. Dug out the loose ball. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Ward hacks it forward. Henry struggling to run at the moment. Gets the handball away. Slick with the hands. Williams was taken high in the tackle. Williams sends one up towards the wing. Finds the loose ball. He wins the ball in the air. Kick by Cameron. Hopper found a way to mark that one. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Going for goal number two. Wow! How good was that? He's excited about that one. They've hit the front! About to resume play. Stanley with a big fist on it. Soccer's a kick. Perryman is blowing hard after that effort. He lays off the pass. Wants to keep it moving. Duncan spills it. The handball now from Green. Taranto winds up and goes long. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. He acknowledges the crowd. That's two in a row for GWS Giants. The lead is now 10. It's a turnover. Green gets on the end of that handball. Reed wins the marking contest. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Going for goal number three. It's somehow pitched over the line and it's a goal. His teammates rush over. GWS Giants lead Geelong by 16. Centre bounce. Winning it was Stanley. Schlensong contests the hard ball. Jacobs hacking it out of there. 
scoops it up. Stewart, hurried kick. Duncan marks in a bit of space. Looks to move it by foot. Good mark by Rowan. Uses it now. A chance to gather the ball. Goes short by hand. Williams continues to find the ball. He just keeps finding the footy. Finds a target. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Keeps it moving. This is Hawkins. That one will really lift them. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Three goals for him now. What an effort. He's enjoying that goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. We're back in the middle. Jacobs gets onto the ball. He's got the football now. Finding the ball was Himmelberg. Gets a hand in. Charges with intent. Hit the man hard. A free kick is paid to Stewart. Pumps the ball long. A mark by Rowan. Now with a low spearing kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Moved on by Fogarty. They chase after the loose ball. Hawkins quickly onto the boot. They can create from this. Parsons puts it out on the full. Williams clears the danger for now. Parker looks to convert this opportunity. 40 metres from home. He might kick a goal. Slams it home. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. Parfit getting the crowd involved. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Plenty of time left to get back in this. Punched away. The ball spills and the tackle is in his possession. Fantastic pressure there. Lloyd is streaming past and gets the footy. Brilliant chase. Green won himself a free. Punches the kick. A big contested grab. Moves the ball by foot. Henderson getting a chance for a break. It's very tense at the moment. Thump by Stanley. Kelly gets the loose ball. Collar Jasny dug out the loose ball. Goes by foot. Great mark in the pack. Fogarty wants to play on. Chose to kick it. Call runs after this one. Hawkins slams it under the boot. They could take the lead here. Gets some rewards for his efforts. Geelong are back in front. Stanley just swats it away. Hopper now finds his man. Cameron just put it on the boot. A good job keeping it in play there. Oh, the umpire pays deliberate. Interesting call. Blitzarves goes for territory. Finds a bit of room to mark. Ball off hands. The loose ball picked up. Jacob got a fist to it. Tui turns a free kick. Puts boot to ball. Henry grabs that one. Spears the ball. Finds this one all by himself. Did well to get a hand in. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. A solid mark from Delwood. Looking to rebound with this kick. Henry takes it well. Elects to kick. Sockers it forward. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. Lloyd celebrating hard. GWS Giants get on top again. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive.
Geelong are actually on top in the contested possessions. They just need to convert that dominance into scoreboard pressure. Quickly onto the boot. Picked up now. Cork gets his opponent onto the wrong foot. Stewart making his way onto the field. The umpire calls for it. A critical stage of this one. Clears the contest. Parsons controlled it well off the bounce. Hands it out to open space. Quickly onto the boot. Reed drops the mark. De Boer might have overworked himself there. Picked up by Dangerfield. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. He gives chase to the footy. He's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Just got the hands in the back there. The kick from Taylor. Picked off the deck. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Tui has resources out wide. Stewart plays it on. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Reed heads for home. Seized the opportunity and was able to take it. That's four goals. Pretty happy with that one. GWS Giants lead by 10. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. It's been a great game from Dangerfield. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Intercepts the ball very well. Sinks the slipper into it. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Gets a hand of the ball. Taranto gathers it now. Gets it away. Cameron on the ball. Lloyd found some space and marked. Good opportunity for GWS Giants to put a goal through here. Moves the ball by foot. A clean picker. Just gets it onto the boot. Dangerfield fed him off up. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Thump clear. The ball goes to ground. Rushes with the kick. Rowan's been it before he earned it. He gains possession. Hawkins with the mark. Dishes it off. Fogarty keeps coming. Lining up for goal number four. Kept his head and kicked the goal. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Geelong close the gap to four. Big thump from Stanley. Sweeping handball from Dangerfield. Ball gets cut off. Links with hands. Gets a quick kick away. Parsons does well to mark. 20 metres from home. They'll regain the lead if he nails this one. Parsons love kicking that one. They're in the lead now. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. The Cats have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. They can create from this. Connor Jasny might have overworked himself there. Perryman couldn't snaffle it. Dug it out. With the ball now. Fogarty releases it under pressure. Smiles all round. Geelong by eight points. Back in the middle now. Punches it clear. Cameron with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Finds the loose ball. Couldn't quite with the mark. Davis assessing the options. Cork looks to get under the football. Parsons unable to lay the tackle. Over the top of the pack. Geelong haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Parfit just threw it. With a driving kick. Stewart couldn't hang on to the ball. Needs a bit of a rest. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. 
congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants reduced the margin. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. GWS Giants giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Schlensock will be the recipient of the free. Puts boot to ball. Missed the target. Green did well to win that ball. Works it across the ground. Easily takes the mark. Elects to kick it long. Takes an uncontested mark. Elects to kick. Green controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Penetrating handball. Applying the physical pressure. O'Connor elects to kick. A quick handball from Rowan. A piercing kick from Fogarty. Hands that ball to the opposition. No issues with that drop punch. He just loved that one. Geelong Cleed is now nine. Back with another set of bounce. Stanley thumps it clear. Schlensog clean from the half volley. Not much time remaining in this match. Got boot to ball. He takes the mark. Lloyd hacking it out of there. Strong with the body and wins the mark. The distance might be just beyond him. Couldn't take it. I suspect GWS Giants coach will want to have a few words back in the rooms after seeing his team go down like that. Gary, any final thoughts? Geelong grew up to the challenge of the key moments and that's why they got themselves into a winning position. Thank you, Gaz. At the end of the match, Geelong defeated GWS Giants 140 to 131. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon. Yo